Hey guys, in this video we have a 100,000 a year easy work from home job that you can get with little or no experience. They give you a free laptop from Apple. They have a $1,000 sign on bonus. There are just a lot of great reasons to apply for this job. And I don't know how much longer it's gonna be available. Uh, they have a lot of jobs being filled recently. It's at files.com, which is a cloud storage company. If you go to jobs at files.com, you can see uh, a few different jobs that are available right now. The main one you want to look for is the customer support engineer. Usually sales jobs, which are the other ones that are available, are going to be in office. So if you want to work from home, look for the customer support engineer job right here. As you can see at the very top of this, it says $100,000 per year is what your starting salary is. They also offer raises and equity as you grow in the organization. You have in-house training as well. They will teach you everything you need to know about the files.com platform to be an effective customer support engineer, and you'll earn your full rate of pay for all training time. Amazing team and peer support. The uh, customer support team is one of the most tight-knit groups in the company. So they have like these, uh, these Zoom calls and things where they kind of keep together, even though you're working from home. You also have big company benefits, which we'll get to more in a little bit, but you get full health, dental, vision insurance coverage, plus 75% of spouse and family coverage, 401k with generous matching, 11 company holidays per year, and 20 paid time off vacation days. A brand new laptop and $1,000 upon signing, you'll send, they'll send you a brand new Apple laptop as well as $1,000 to offer the rest of your home office with things like a monitor, webcam, keyboard, and mouse. Every job here pretty much gets a $1,000 signing bonus for this and this is kind of a company-wide benefit. So as far as a 100% uh, remote team, this is not to say that they are 100% remote or, or otherwise known as a fully remote company, but uh, this part of the team, customer support is. Now they also uh, will have you know your day-to-day -day stuff right here. So you will be responding to customer initiated interactions such as phone calls and emails. You're going to do all mostly one-on-one -on -one communication, identifying software bugs and feature requests and coordinating with the relevant team for handling. You'll be providing after hours emergency support assistance to customers on a rotating basis with other customer support team members. You'll also be taking a high touch approach to support, encouraging frequent interaction with customers and working with them to a full resolution of any issues. About you, you have excellent written and ver verbal communication skills and have real world experience deploying those skills. You bring a top notch customer demeanor, including patience, understanding and empathy. You can learn a process and then add to that process. For example, you can learn to use the knowledge base and playbook articles and then contribute to make them better. You're known for being smart and getting things done. When you take on a project, your team knows you will handle it effectively and efficiently. You have a general understanding of a software as a service environment as well, which includes, it could include some experience, but not necessarily expertise with several of the following technologies, web applications, networking, internet communication protocols, APIs and or programming languages, file integration tools and platforms. This could be things like AWS, SharePoint, Zapier, and single sign-on tools like LDAP, Azure AD, and Okta. So I'm not entirely sure what they mean by experience, but not expertise with these. So I guess you don't have to be necessarily that good or know the ins and outs of them, but you've used them before, I think is mainly what they're saying here. Um, then you have your application form here at the bottom. And if you keep scrolling down, they usually have your benefits after that. So a lot of times the form is usually where people stop a lot of times on an application page. But if you keep going, you'll see all the benefits that they offer here. Or you can just go to the separate page. But high starting salaries are provided with pretty much every job here. Performance based raises, equity option grants as well. You have 401k with generous employer match. Um, their plan features extremely low fee ETFs, ensuring that you actually keep the money that you save for retirement. Plus, they will match your contributions up to 4%. You have a $1,000 signing bonus, no strings attached, company issued MacBook Pro that's fully loaded, reducing time wasted setting up your individual rig, 
for your home office, legal assistance, option to participate in an employee paid legal plan to gain access to a network of attorneys who assist with basic legal needs, including wills, trusts, contracts, tickets, and documents. So that can help you with a lot of things. And employee assistance program as well. This could be for um, issues regarding behavioral and emotional health, family, legal, financial, wellness, or even other personal matters to go with this. So again, um, they have filled a lot of positions that they've had over the last few months. Like they had, a, I think, a customer success manager that was on here as well that got filled apparently, but they still have the customer support engineer available, 100,000 a year, and uh, it's the only work from home job they have left. So I would definitely try and pounce on that while it's still here. 44 reviews for files.com on Glassdoor, 4.2 out of five stars. Um, 75% recommend working here to a friend, 84% approve of the CEO. Benefit-wise, they have 31 ratings, but uh, for I don't know what that's supposed to even mean. 31 people that left feedback, I guess, and then eight ratings that were actual star ratings, 4.4 out of five for that. So very well-liked benefit-wise. Interview-wise, 2.9 out of five difficulty. So doesn't seem too hard to interview here. Um, maybe about average in terms of difficulty to interview and get a job here. And then as far as some interview prompts and interview questions you might get asked here, um, one is tell me about yourself. What's the difference between customer success and customer support? So this is one of the ones that's more specific to this. I couldn't find a lot that were specific to this job title um, because they have a decent amount of reviews like they have quite a few, but they don't have that many to where you're gonna find, you know, like 10 different interviews related to one particular job. So this is one of the ones that you probably will get asked though for customer success or customer support. Can you provide examples of customer documentation that you've written? Um, so like maybe FAQ type stuff or um, online help type articles that a lot of companies like to do these days. So customers can help themselves before contacting support. Um, can you provide examples of customer documentation? So we've been over that. Your top three strengths, what are they? And what would you ask of a potential candidate in this interview? So that kind of turns it on a different level of like, if you were me, what would you ask in this position? Um, if you were hiring for someone to be say a customer support engineer. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily videos like this one. And so you can get a chance to apply before everyone else. And I'll see you in the next video.